Okay. Let's try this again. Get that stupid song bit. Okay, then. Damn, yeah, get him! Check over there. You are. Ah. Get that stupid son of a- There he goes!
<laughs> Slow motherfuckers die first. good again for you, Roy. Join my crew. Great. That sounds great. Whatever you say. See? Things are already looking up. Bobby's three hurt person hit squad is armed with shotguns and a machine gun. Mob Doc, add a health bar. Add another adrenaline shot. Oh. Oh. High impact hit squad called for... Call four man kill crew. Need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. Nice work. Those Fanooks never should have fucked with me. I'll send some of my crew. You take the Dark Union back, and then fuck Greco will be done. Today, I'm sure the file on Vito Scaletta is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here, and the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. Take it down one of the rackets, go over. Okay, same bullshit. Boy, you stepped into a heap of shit. Call the hit squad to provide you with backup when you're out in the field. The fuck? Something actually happen or did
this song's on the regular radio. Powers that be won't have it. Maybe. Wait, how the KB round? The job as you've done slowing work at the dock union. I'm surprised Tavero's not out in the street and hunting you himself. Word is, Andy Toretto's down at the dock union, demanding to know who's been stopping his people from collecting dues. Think he tipped off Greco to what's been happening? Nah. Knowing Andy, he'd probably see Greco in the ground next to you if he could. But he's a lifer. And if he's got a job to do, he's gonna goddamn well do it. Bad fucking situation all around. And it's about to get worse. Tell the boys they'll be back to work soon, Jock. You pissed Toretto off just enough that he's back at the dock union. You're gonna have to deal with him. Fucking work permits? What's the point of that? Can't we just print up some more? Jesus Christ. Look. It's making us look weak. To who? The working men. They see us getting fucked. Won't be long before they. Huh? Come and see my bar. So, Greaseball walks into a bar, and his dumbass friend does the same. Hey, and this part's you still alive. Or in this part, dumbass mobster walks into a K bar. You better not leave me alone here. One little, two little, three little mobsters, four little, five little, six little mobsters, seven little, eight little, get the fuck over here, you goddamn cannoli eating some bitch. Just, just don't let nothing happen to me. <laughs> I'm gonna go check it out by myself. <laughs> don't let. Don't let the big scary monster get me. Gonna find that huh? scary fuck. Think we might have company. We got a killer in it.
Guess we put the fear of God in here. Go back and look over there. Where haven't we looked? Where'd he go? Are you out of your mind? Greco's on his last. You standing with him or me? Fuck it. All right, I'm with you. Vito will be happy to hear that. <laughs> Dr. Bruno can help your body take a hell of a beating. Union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. I'll send them over. And Lincoln, just cause Greg goes a dipshit Retaliation doesn't squad. Over. He'll probably send out some of his men, have him try and take you out. So watch your ass. Get your hands on Greco and rough him up all you want. But don't kill him. That's for me. So what, this is going to be a random pit squad? I was in the 3rd Platoon Company C of the 614th Tank Destroyer Battalion during World War II. <laughs> Happy I trained as a medic, but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. The Army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Limbaugh. Klimbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the Krauts took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had, but there was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about medals I got over there. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. 
No one knows I help think except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. Well, it looks like additional health. You can take more damage. Yay. It looks like Vito and Cassandra are going to be my best friends. Something tells me fucking Bruno's just going to be something to do with vehicles. Eh, vehicles and maybe explosives? Considering, I think... Unless the ammo increase applies to the explosion explosives. That looks like Vito's gonna be my best friend for the time. Much more for the time being, because he gives me extra health. And more medical supplies. I can cope with using a bar for a while. That's all I needed, guys. Just some, just some drugs. My cargo. So you jack my car? Motherfucker, you better not fuck up my goddamn armor. Greco's in that building at the end of the block. A lot of who is in there. He's probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front, you take the back. If he tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. Cut, suck. Come on, back to the car, you drive, I'll cover us. Fuck, if that little prick gets away. Ha! Is, is that? How the fuck did Greco end up with my car? He's a little fuck, that's how. Don't you lose sight of this fuck, Lincoln. God damn it. Why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill a little shit stain. I want to take my car. Boy, take it. Lincoln, I'm not gonna fucking die in this hunk of shit car with you. Sighted as fuck, Lincoln.
God damn. <clears throat> they fucking popped those fucking tires. That was... You agreed to work with Lincoln on one condition. That he bring him Michael Greco. When Greco escaped, Vito backed out. All for 25 cents. Well, he wouldn't have escaped if my tires didn't get popped and fucking Vito jumped out of the goddamn car. Is, is that... How the fuck did Greco end up with my car? He's a little fucked, that's how. God damn it, why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill the little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get it, Marcano. This is the next best goddamn thing. Boy, take it. Don't shoot my car, Vito. Fuck. I ain't making any promises. No way I'm letting that dipshit get away. God damn it, that motherfucker's got my car! Stupid son of a bitch just left his car! Cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. Code 35, suspicious person and vehicle. Responding you to You're gonna have to shake these corn pone redneck motherfuckers. What? What happened? You crossed the wrong motherfucker, that's what happened. Now shut the fuck up. Oh crap. Any chance Lincoln had of bringing down Sal Marcano ended with the death of Vito Scaletta. Well, the dumb fuck should have got out of the car instead of drowning in five seconds. When you go underwater, you hold your breath. You don't inhale as hard as you fucking can, like you're trying to inhale all the cock in the club. Suspicious individual in vehicle. Oh, it's not one thing. The fucking cops are on our ass. What? What happened? You crossed the wrong motherfucker. That's what happened. Now shut the fuck up. Down back there, kiddo. Right will be over soon. All units, we have reports of the suspect being sighted in the bayou. Cops are still on us. Lose them, Lincoln. I can get you assholes, mate. You gotta let me out of here. I hope you got your seatbelt on, asshole. Goddamn Dukes of Hazard, Smokey and the Bandit, and some shit. We gotta do something about those fucking cops. Oh, 
Fuck, cops are closing in. Back to your place. Yeah. Pull around to the chum shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity, Christ. Help! Somebody fucking help! Help! Watch out for cops. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. Ooh, shit. <laughs> for a couple of years there. I really thought I might... Oh, oh, please! I didn't do nothing! You didn't do nothing? You were getting ready to fucking kill me! I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do! Ah, that fuck never liked me, I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't... I don't... Come on, Mikey, why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpetbagger. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more! Fuck! Listen, Jesus! He was worried you knew about the casino! And you were gonna play up to Leo and the commission! What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's... You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there! He wants to go legit! Turn... This city into Las Vegas! Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the laws changed. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it! <laughs> Look, I... I told you what you wanted to know. You're gonna let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting a cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. You should talk to her, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. <laughs> at what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So, Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You pay me what's fucking old! You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. But mainly, I'm worried I'm gonna get a phone call telling me you're dead in the gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. 
And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sounds boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. Now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, nicks, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay is still alive. Fuck me. a professional football team urgently dear listener our city needs the roar of okay the i get it you would stop blocking my fucking view already new jesus fucked up curse on the cracker the expense of a brand new state one on asshole don't you know the rules of the goddamn road stay the fuck out of my way Jesus fucking Christ. Lincoln, guess how things are running here now that Greco's gone. Like a fucking clock, that's how. So, how the fuck do I do this union extortion thing? Was that <coughs> bitch?
Lincoln, that prick Greco threw me out on my ass. He can give a shit I got a pregnant wife at home. Nice to be back on the job. You're him, aren't you? Lincoln Clay. Vito asked me to come see you. He wants our guys to do double the runs. Double the runs means double the chances of running into the Coast Guard. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be too much help dealing with them. So I will deal with those hijos de la gran puta. I need someone to keep the warehouses full, keep the money coming in. How much we talking? Enough to make it worth your troubles. You're gonna be hitting trucks for the contraband. Seems simple enough. I'll let you know when I get the first truck. You didn't just save his life, you know. You brought him back. The real Vito. What I mean is I haven't seen this Vito in a really long time. And I don't want him to go back to the way he was. You got something to say, I'm gonna just say it. What's gonna happen next? You need him? And you need us now. So you give Marcano the fucking he deserves. Is it back in the freezer again? Would you believe me if I say no? No. I don't think so. But I believe very few people these days. And if Vito say this is the way things are, that's how they are. If you see any of Greco's men out there, you should deal with them. It will make it easier for us to conduct business. I got my hands on prime shipments out there. Go bust up some heads and bring it back here. Oh, Jesus. Stay away from Vito's fucking gumbo. Shouldn't you be out there still in trucks and making yourself a pain in my cano's ass? I want to get too close to that little fucker. Hmm.
Okay, so the shit's all the fucking way. Fuck, that's a long way away. Fuck you, buddy! Oh crap. Fucking glowing eye motherfucking radioactive alligator or some shit. Find shit. I'll huh? find the bastard. Huh? Hmm? We done lost Check one. Check that shit out. Moving behind huh? something. Okay, oh, motherfucker. Don't make you cry for your mama, mama's boy. Keep losing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Fuck me. Oh. 
thought I tapped that motherfucker. God, I actually gotta worry about the fucking trailer. This vehicle makes wide fucking turns! Assholes! is the leader of the retaliation. Until you take him out, the retaliation squad will keep going. Okay, you can play trafficking for the underboss. Resume going after... Bah, bah, bah.
fucking asshole hitman. Give me all the things! Coño, no necesito esta mierda. What? Trouble? Yeah, my whole fucking life. It's a letter from my grandmother. Writes me to wish my mother happy birthday. You know, who she saw get dragged away back in 10 de octubre. Jesus. Don't. It's nothing. Fuck it. You got something for me? I got another truck stash ready for you guys to pick up. Really? Hmm. Huh. Our kind of guys are fucking pussies. No problem then? Not a one on my end. Good. So it shouldn't be a problem to bring more trucks. Sure, Alma. I'll see what I can do. After this guy and I screwed last night, he started yammering on and on about some shit. I was only halfway listening. But he hooked me when he started talking about this warehouse I had my eye on. Turns out they just got some new shipments. I want them. And if you see any of the delivery trucks, Bring them back here, and I will see what we can salvage. If Vito starts pissing and moaning about somebody named Joe, just let him. Son of a bitch. Seriously, I thought I fucking dealt with that. Anyway, so much is well, that one's earning fifty thousand on fifty thousand. Alright, well, anyway, I'll catch you guys next time.